You already know what time it is. It's blitz time. The way I say time is really weird. When I say it like that, time, blitz time. That's weird. Anyway, what we got here? We got D4, D5. Can I Semislav? I love to Semislav. Come on, let me let me do it. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. It's not Semislav, though, so it's not perfect. It's some Four Knights garbage. I actually have no idea what this is called. I just said that. All right, you can do that. I'm planning on king or queenside castling anyway, so not a big deal. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's go. Ahead. So we're just developing like normal. Um, I don't really want uh, know what the point of h3 was, more, or taking that because now you lost your bishop advantage. Well, I still have mine. And I feel like my castle is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to try to pawn storm his castle because I tend to do that. And I'm going to want this rook over here if I want that. I kind of feel like taking... Oh, I can't take anymore. can't take uh, f3 anyway. I can take the knight on f2 or on h2. Let's just go here. I'm not really sure what the point of that knight move was, but I think my original plan still works pretty well. All right, so we got c4, obviously trying to break my uh, pawn structure. Is it worth taking? Yeah, it's worth it. I don't really see a threat here. I kind of really want to not use this. Let's go back here. I don't want to lose my uh, bishop advantage yet. It might come useful in the end game if these are still around for whatever reason. Might be useful, I should say. Um, what am I supposed to look out for? I'm trying to think of threats. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be too many threats here, so I'll just move back and continue my pawn advance. I'm going to try h5, then g4. Try to break his pristine structure. Okay, well, with that, I kind of am forced to lose my bishop advantage, but it's no big deal. You take my bishop. See if I care. Let's pre-move here. Always got you. Got to love it when a pre-move works. It's just like I knew what you're gonna do. <laughs> And then when you play bullet and you make the worst pre-move ever, and then you just like you're just like I'm retarded. That's my making terrible pre-moves is basically how I lose every bullet game. All right, uh, I think this is fine. Oh no, that's not fine. I just lost it. Oh my god, he didn't see that. He didn't see taking f7. That was a pin. I will. I am totally okay with that. Trade-off, fine, whatever. Still not over. I kind of want to protect this, though. Let's go here first. I want to protect f7. I don't want that uh, knight to take it now. But now a7 is hanging. The rook can take a7. But my opponent does not decide to do that for whatever reason. I'm going to threaten the bishop. I don't want that bishop there. It's not really serving any useful purpose for me to have my knight around other than guarding g4, which I don't care about that much. I don't know. We'll see. I can protect g4 later with the rook. I can probably play f5 or something. Oh, okay, so he did take. Yeah, you know, I should have protected this while I had the chance. All right, let's get rid of that. Probably king gonna take back is my guess. But if he does, then I have... Wait, what? Oh, good game. 